Okay, in, uh, in this stage, stage two, we will uh, fill the vehicle with its cargo, uh, a bunch of spheres. We will also add the bottom plate, the plate that will push out the spheres once the uh, vehicle comes to full stop at frame uh, 140. Uh, one thing you should keep in mind is to try to do as many actions as possible at frame zero. Some actions like certain keyframes and so on must of course be done at a certain keyframe, but things can get quite funky if you if you are placed at a certain keyframe, say keyframe 60. Set up a dynamic solution there, scrub back to frame zero and press play. Uh, things can unexpected things can happen. So when possible try to be at frame zero for this. Right, let's get started. The first thing we will do is to go to File, Merge Objects and Merge Dine Plate. Uh, let's move this up a bit. Uh, this plate is, as you can see, uh, the plate that will be animated on its y-axis so it's, it, uh, it pushes the cargo out of the box and uh, it will also, uh, the, uh, the spheres will also affect the, uh, the lid. And as you can see, it says C4D R12 Dynamics on it. Let's undo that. It's back at the bottom. Uh, keep this outside the hierarchy for now. It will later be placed inside chassis, but for now keep it here. We can close that one. Right, uh, to better see what we're doing, we're going to select chassis and go to polygon mode and double click on the last polygon selection tag here. It's named bottom, so cl double click on that. Go to selection and hide unselected. Also, you can hide, double click those two on the lid. So now we have only these polygons visible, which will make it easier for us. Now we need to copy the value for the Y position for these polygons as we are going to move them temporarily and we need to copy or write down this value. I'm going to command copy objects null, double click it and command V to paste it. There we have the value for uh, as you can see also I'm in wor world uh, world um, coordinate system here. That shouldn't make much of a difference but I just wanted to point it out so we are on the same level here. Now zoom in a little bit and grab the y-axis of these polymers and move it up so it's slightly above the plate. Something like that. Now we're going to create the cargo. So create a object, a primitive sphere, and in the objects tab you give it a radius of 18. Then create a MoGraph cloner and make the child, make the sphere child of the cloner. And select the cloner and in the attributes manager check change linear to grid array. We're going to change both count and size here. So for count let's set 4, 7, whoops, 7, 4. And for size 1, 3, 3, 6, 2, 6, 1, 3, Leave the rest as default. 
while we still have the clone selected MoGraph effector random effector and on its parameter tab you uncheck position and set color mode to on this will give this will give the uh, spheres a temporary color we will use this function later on in later in a later stage when we texture the cargo now select the cloner object and move it up on the y axis so the last spheres are positioned just a bit above the polygon bottom something like that should be okay make sure you still have the cloner selected then go up to simulation dynamics create rigid body now press play and watch everything fall apart To fix that, you select the Dynamics tab on the cloner. Uh, sorry, on the uh, on chassis, of course. And you, on the Collision tab, you change shape to Moving Mesh. And on the cloner, select the tag and set individual elements to top level. Now to keep the vehicle from driving away while we run the uh, cargo simulations uh, you need to deactivate the motor and select shift select those two tags on the wheels and set dynamic to off. Now you should be able to press play and everything stays together. You can see the spheres dropped. You can stop the simulation at around frame 100-115. Uh, Just when, when, when the spheres are stopped moving, stop the simulation. Now we need to freeze the cargo here. And you do that by selecting the clone tab tag and click this one. Set initial state. Now you can create a null object. You can name it cargo and then group uh, the random and the clone effector under it. As you can see, the cargo stays in place thanks to the uh, set initial object, uh, set initial state, and then we can group the cargo, make it make it a child of chassis. Now select chassis and make sure you're in polygon mode. Remember, remember the value we copied earlier select it, command C, go back to chassis, polygon mode, paste, and enter. And now we have the polygons back in it in their uh, original place. Now if we rotate the scene and zoom in a little bit you will see that when we press play these spheres will drop a little bit. And uh, we want to avoid this as when the plate later on is animated and made dynamic, if there are spheres lodged inside it, uh, they, uh, they run the risk of uh, being left behind. They will not be taken into account for the dynamics of the, of the plate here. So we need to fix that and uh, scrub back to frame zero. Select the Dynamics tab of the Cloner, set Dynamic to Ghost, scrub to 139, and 
keyframe the ghost one frame jump one frame forward to frame 140 set dynamic to on and keyframe now if we press play it stay in place 